So here we go, day two. Hopefully we can get a little uh, bigger fish than yesterday. Biggest fish yesterday was 26 inches. And looking for 10 plus pounder today. Let's get at it. What a gorgeous day. You see my breath, it's cold, yes, I know. But this is when the big walleyes come out. Oh, come on, let's get it. There we go. That didn't take long to start the day off. Like f less than five minutes in, small fish. Fish one of the day though. There we go, fish one. Make sure you keep an eye on your knot. See how my knot right here, it's at the front. That's not what you want. You want that knot at the back. Cinch that up. Check it after every fish. I could tell when I was jigging, something just didn't feel right. That'll just allow the jig to sit more horizontal in the water column. Fish two. Fish three. Little slimy jack. Back you go. Oh, -ho. saugers have feelings too, you know. Anybody that hasn't seen the difference between a sauger and a walleye, look at all the little black spots, black spots in his fins right there. There we go, right there. There's a sauger, little guy, like a 17 incher. Fish five, tiny walleye. Oh, that was a harder bite, but not any bigger fish though. Okay, fish six, another sauger. Fish seven. Fish eight, slimy jackfish. Oh, I was just dropping my jig down. Just changing minnows. Fish nine is another pike. Fish 10, slimy pike. Definitely the biggest of the day, which isn't that big. I got a long ways to go yet. If I'm calling that the biggest of the day so far. Said love pike fishing. Just not when I'm fishing for the walleyes. I'm gonna eat fish 13 tonight. I'm gonna eat him tonight. Fish 14, little pike. Fish 15, 16. And he is also gonna be the second walleye that I choose to eat today. Sometimes when you're feeling down, you have to give yourself a little pep talk. And that is exactly what I just had with myself here. She's been a grind for me for sure. But uh, at this time yesterday, I only had four or five fish. So I'm really ahead of the game right now for sure. Not fish 17. So I'm doing, I'm doing good. Now my average size is down a lot. But that could change with one bite. Still sticking with the jig in the minnow. Fish 18. Oh, that's better. That's a little better. That thing rocked that. I went from an absolute light bite to just a, just something. Ah, I should have known. I went from a bite that was really light to something that just got rocked. Well, of course, it's a pike. Fish 19, pike. Fish 20. Wallace. A little bit better fish. A little bit better. Biggest one of the day. This fish has some weight. Oh yeah. Here we go. Feels good, feels good. This could be my biggest of the trip so far. I'm guessing seven, eight pounds for sure. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, yeah! Being this fish chill in the water the whole time. Right now I get stuff ready and get a measure measuring board ready. And I'm gonna show you a really cool system to weigh these fish too, keeping the fish horizontal, not vertical. Look at the big 
belly on this one. Oh, yes. That's what I've been waiting for. Two days. Like I said, we're going to show you a really cool system to weigh these fish. In a little cradle. Made by Frable. It's called an umbrella net. See the fish goes horizontal. Get a good weight. Nine point eight seven pounds, right there. Twenty eight inch, almost ten pounds. Nine point eight seven pounds. Hopefully that's just an indication of a few things to come yet. Nice fish. There she goes. Awesome, 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 awesome. So what I'm using here, it's a Fraybell umbrella net. Uh, you get it from Cabela's, it's like 20 bucks. I took off the four long rods that it comes with, a couple little wire ties here on each end, and I gave my, myself a little cradle. Put the fish in there, put your ends together, weigh it. Fish stays horizontal, not vertical. Great way to weigh the fish, definitely recommend it. I consider fish that's almost 10 pounds big. I would have been a lot more excited, but there's a boat that just pulled up beside me and it wouldn't scream like a little girl. There's no doubt that this fishery isn't a secret. And I think anybody that wants to, to chase after big walleye, that this is a destination that you should come to. Just take care of the fish though. How I showed you how I weighed that fish, it's, it's so important. Don't hang the fish vertical through the gills. It's just, it's so hard on them. It's, it's not good. You know, this, this place has become more and more popular over the years. And by all means, that's great. It's great for the tourism. It's great, it's great for nip one, but it's hard on the fishing when the people don't handle the fish properly. So yes, there's a lot of fish for everybody to catch and a lot of fish to go around, but take care of them. You know, I netted that fish. I kept it chilling in the net. I didn't bring the net and plop it right in the middle of the boat and just let it sit there and everybody, ah, yay, high fives. No, get it dealt with. Fish is in the water, collect your, your things, brain them out, weigh them, measure them, quick little picture, back in. Save the high fives for after the fish is released. Fish 22, pike. Oh, little guy, little, 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 tiny, tiny fish. But guess what? It might be small, but a, it's not a pike, and B, that's fish 25. So I have surpassed yesterday's day with a pile of time left. Also caught a bigger fish than yesterday. You can say that I'm getting better and better as the day goes by. Now only if I had about 150 more days, maybe I'd actually catch some real fish. Fish 26, nice specimen. Fish 28. Come on, there we go, there we go. So I had a fish, I had a bite and I lost it right away, right? So I dropped another middle down, this guy, come on. Well anyway, see here, he's got my minnow inside there. <laughs> see ya buddy. There we go, there we go, there we go. It was like 22 inches. Big fat, 22 inches. He's got some kind of big lump on his back here. There we go. A couple nice fish today. Fish 31. Fish 32, slimy pike. 33. Oh, baby. Drag burner. Feels like a pike. Fish 34. Northern pike. Pow, pow, pow. Fish 35 of the day. Been using both kind of like a drifting technique as well as a vertical on, on top of these fish as much as I can. Although it's never going to stay perfectly vertical because of the current where I'm fishing. But sometimes it's it's slow enough that i can actually mark my jig and kind of see what's going on but definitely i've noticed the the slower i can get that jig to work whether it's even when i'm working 
with the current and drifting if I kind of just leave it slack for a bit and then slowly kind of just work it along and it's at my own speed instead of the current speed that seems to be the best uh, results today for sure fish 36 smallest one of the trip fish 36 I should just leave him on for bait wow. fish 37 for fish 38 they are putting the feed bag on these fish are chunky chunky fish 40 is hooked up it's on its way to the boat i'm leveling the saugers right now another small sauger fish 42 on a monster well, that'll wrap up this little mini series. I just want to go over a few of the things I was using here. I was using a G Loomis E6X, six foot three, medium, fast action, teamed up with the 1000 Stratic. And on there, I have 10 pound Power Pro, and I was running this time a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader, uh, P line Halo. Those are definitely my line of choice for jigging walleye. I was using a, a jig here, a three eighth ounce jig, Perch Baby jig, they call them, uh, made by Big Sky Flying Jigs, one of my favorite jigs. I'll leave the links below where you can purchase all these items online. I'll be starting to work on this footage right here. That'll be my last open water video before I transition over into some ice fishing. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be a lot of ice fishing videos coming out this winter. And anyway, that has been continuing to watch. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.